Hey, what is up heroes and welcome to the Q&A. I asked you guys a couple of weeks ago to ask me some questions on the community tab and I got a whole bunch of them. There was quite a few questions that were already asked about a year and a half ago when I last did a Q&A. So to save myself from repeating myself, uh, you can just go watch that Q&A from a year and a half ago because everything is still going to pretty much be the same. But we've got a bunch of questions, so let's just jump right into it. First question, why did you stop playing Pokemon Go? And pretty easy. Um, it got boring and with the pandemic um, it was just harder to play and then they started doing lots of controversial stuff like different prices for the same product to different people it was uh, it was annoying and one of the main issues for me was why well, you never really saw rock Niantic come on man my favorite Pokemon and when you did the whole buddy thing, I was like, oh yeah, I'm so excited to have Zorak as my buddy I'm gonna walk so far with it never gonna change it and then gen 5 comes I'm so excited, then you just skip it and then go to Gen 6 and Gen 7, Gen 8, and it's just like, oh, where's my favorite Pokemon at? So, um, yeah, it got boring, harder to play, and literally, I got a new phone, I think October, haven't even installed Pokemon Go, I just have not been asked to play it. Um, maybe I'll come back to it in the future, but as of right now, I just have absolutely no interest in playing it. So, um, yeah. Uh, next question, which is your favorite Pokemon? My favorite Pokemon is currently Zorark. It could change for the first time in like 10 years, 11 years, and it could become Hisuian Zorark. I'm not gonna lie, Hisuian Zorark looks very, very good. It depends when I use, I'm obviously gonna use Hisu Hisuian Zorark on my team when Legends Arceus comes out, but it all depends on if, um, you know, I enjoy using the Pokemon, I just get like a little connection with it. It might become my favorite, who knows, but <laughs> right now it's probably my second favorite Pokemon just by looks and looks alone in the backstory we know of it, like just like the Zora getting like thrown out and just surviving where they are now is just, it's kind of sad, but oh man, it could become my new favorite Pokemon. Have to wait and see. Uh, next question, are you a cat or dog person? Uh, I'm more of a dog person, I like cats. But I don't think they like me, but I've grown up with dogs my whole entire life. Absolutely love dogs. I feel like there isn't a dog that doesn't love me, and there's not a dog out there that I don't love. I just, dogs are just the best, and I will probably own a dog for the entire of my life. I have already, and I don't plan on stopping. Like, if I could just retire, have a nice, nice house, doesn't have to be big, as long as the garden is super massive and I can own like 50 dogs, that would just be the dream. Honestly, dogs are just the best and uh, yeah, I'm a dog person, but I do like cats. Just uh, I can't have a cat because my dog will probably try and kill it, <laughs> unfortunately. On to the next question, uh, what's your favorite game? Uh, my favorite game, I would say all time, would have to be Sonic 3 and Knuckles on the Sega Mega Drive. Grew up with that game, absolutely love it still. There's times I just like, I just can boot it up and play it whenever I never get bored of it. I love the soundtrack, I love the gameplay, I love the story, I just love everything about it, it's so good. Like I grew up with Sonic the Hedgehog, and even though the games of Sonic haven't been the greatest recently, that game to me is always just going to be one of the GOATs, greatest of all time, so, so good. And I just, I can probably finish it blindfolded, I love everything about it, the, the special stages to get the blue balls, so good man, so good. I can just, I don't think I'd ever get bored of that game. So that's probably my favorite game. Next question, what did you do for a living? I mean, what do I do? I play games, bro. That's it. I play games. I'm living my dream. <laughs> I just play games. That's it. What's your top favorite snack? Um, Right now, I would probably say there's got these like Terry's chocolate orange, like crispy balls. I've just been eating too many of them. Like I'll, I'll get a bag when I go to the shop and go, ooh have one or two, and I think that's that's it, I'll save, save them for later. And then I just look at it and just go, okay. And then next time I look, the bag's empty. I'm like, oh, okay, I cannot be eating these all the time, but I just keep, I keep snacking on them. I gotta say, that's probably my favorite snack right now. And if you haven't tried it, I really recommend it. It's really, really good. Uh, next question, if there is ever a game you will not cover, what would it be? Um, the games I won't cover would be games that I don't like, or some games I feel like I would just much prefer to sit down with a blanket around me, chill on the sofa on the nice big 4K TV and just chill and play. Like Final Fantasy VII Remake, 
did not want to make videos on that because I just thought I'd have more fun just sitting on the sofa playing that in my spare time, uh, just taking my time. Like, when I saw people, I got that game early and I played, I thought I played that a lot and then the game came out and then I just saw people on Twitter like, oh, I finished the game. I was like, you finished it already? Dude, like, I'm not even halfway through the game. I was just taking my time and I thought I was, you know, I played so much, but clearly not. And then obviously there's games where I won't play on the channel where I, there's been games where I think to myself, man, that would do really well on the channel, but I just don't play it because I, I just feel like I wouldn't enjoy it. And then I see, like, I, I look it up and I see other people playing it and I thought, yeah, it would have been smart to do it on the channel, but I'm not going to play something that I don't like. So it's mainly games I don't like and then games I feel like I would just enjoy more of my own time. Like Genshin Impact. I came close to doing it on the channel, but I, re I started recording it and I, I've played, I made a part one of Genshin Impact. Then I started playing a bit more. I was like, you know what? This is a game that I think I would rather just play in my spare time and just enjoy that way. And I'm so glad I did because I'm just, I, I play so much Genshin Impact, but I feel like I wouldn't play it as much if I made videos on it. So that's how that works. Uh, next question, I have two questions, sorry. Uh, since when did you do YouTube for a living and what have you worked before doing YouTube full time? Um, I went full time YouTube shortly after Auras came out. Um, Auras did really well and I was like, okay, I can probably quit my job and do this. Um, what I did before, I did, I was a paper boy and in high school then in sixth form, I worked at on the weekends at a retail store called Next, which was awful. Absolutely hated working there. The just yeah, leave it at that. It was just not a nice place to work. Um, I then worked cleaning an office, and the same time also working at Marks and Spencer's retail, which um, I did that during university, which was stressful because as a point in my life for two years, I was cleaning an office and then I was well it was university cleaning an office uh, Marks and Spencer's on the weekends and on the days that I wasn't at university and doing YouTube on top so um did all that and then be able to quit and do YouTube full-time was just mwah, 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 mwah. so good so good uh, next question what is your dream to become before becoming a YouTuber uh, it's gonna sound stupid but my my dream my whole life has been to play video games and that's exactly what I'm doing. Like when I was growing up as a kid, I was like, oh man, I'd love to play games because I was so addicted to gaming. I grew up with a, having a Mega Drive, had the Game Boy, the GameCube, PlayStation, just I had everything. I just, I would, I would play so much and I was always thinking to myself, I would love to do this for a living. And the only thing that came to my mind back then was video game tester, you know, just get to play the game, test for bugs and stuff which to me right now that sounds probably terrible. But then um, obviously YouTube became a thing. I was making YouTube videos uh, as a teenager with some friends just um, doing some stupid videos. And then it got to the point where people were playing video games. I was like, oh cool. You know, I was start uploading um, some Guitar Hero videos with a camera propped up on some Xbox game cases, point at the TV. And uh, once, you know, you could actually start making a living doing video games, which I think was around like to, it was it was like a certain thing you had to do you had to be partnered with a certain network to um, start making money. Then when the whole Google AdSense thing all took over, it was like, oh wow, you can actually do this for a living playing video games. I want to do that, you know. And that's basically how it came. You know, that was my dream to play games, and I'm living it. And if it ever ends, then it ends. But right now, I couldn't ask for anything more. Honestly, I'm at a point where it's just. There's only you can probably only go down from here, but I'm just so happy with what where I'm at and uh, yeah uh, Next question. What did you think about Eastwood? Loved it. Uh, I love the the graphics. I love the gameplay The story was a little bit confusing at parts But once I finished it and I read up more about it and understood it more it just made me love the game more It was just uh, the puzzles in Eastwood were really really fun and I just overall I thought it was worth the wait <laughs> Probably my game of the year. I thought it was so, so good. That or Tales of Arise. Tales of Arise was also phenomenal, but like Eastwood, just absolute banger of a game. Really recommend it if you got Steam or um, or a Switch. What's my favorite beverage? Can't go wrong with a classic Coca-Cola. 
honestly, just no Coke Zero, no Diet Coke, just a classic full fat Coke. That is, um, <laughs> it sounds so bad when you say full fat, but everyone I know just calls it full fat Coke. And I'm just like, just classic Coke, man. Classic Coke is the best, or a Dr. Pepper. I might say Dr. Pepper Zero. I don't know why, but I feel like Dr. Pe Dr. Pepper Zero tastes better than normal Dr. Pepper. Don't know why, but yeah, go with one of them too. Uh, next question, what's your favorite Yu-Gi-Oh deck to play? Um, I like spell books, that's why I last named them, but my favorite all-time deck to play would probably be Wind Up. Like I actually made a, um, for one locals, a top eight a lo locals once with um, Wind Up plants. And it was just, it was like half plants, half wind up. It just worked. And it was so, so fun. And um, that's probably my uh, favorite deck to play. Or, or, this is gonna make me sound so bad to so many players. Battery Man FTK. <laughs> it was so fun. Oh, it was so fun to play. Just, um, yeah, or Black Wings. Black Wings were also very good. But overall, I would say Wind Up was probably my most fun deck to play. I just loved making all the Xyz, the Synchros. Um, what was it? It was Tyrus and Adreus, I think it was, they were called. They were really fun to get out. And then doing the, um, the hand loop with uh, Wind Up Hunter and uh, Zen Matey. That was, that was also very good. There was a time where, like, I, I, when Wind Up first came out, I said, this, this deck's gonna be the best deck. Started building it, no one believed me, and then the more supports are coming, like Rabbit and um, Shark and Zen Matey and stuff, and it's just such a good deck to play. Uh, next question, any exciting thoughts on the new Pokemon game coming out next year? I'm going to tell you now, Legends Arceus is going to be the greatest Pokemon game of all time. Because it has Hisui and Zoroark. <laughs> no, for real though, um, I'm excited for the game because of Hisui and Zoroark. Like, I'm really excited to just catch that and use it. I have a lot, and I mean a lot of worries about this game. But I'm not going to judge it until I play it and I finish it and then I can, you know give an opinion then. Right now, I'm just hoping they sort out some of the issues I had with Sword and Shield for this game. So we'll have to wait. It's just basically for me, it's a, it's a wait and see. But I'm really excited for Hisui and Zoroark. I feel like they announced it too early because they announced the new Voltorb and everyone's like, oh look, new Voltorb. I'm like, I don't care. I, whatever they announce right now, I couldn't care less. They announced the most hyped thing for me and anything else they announce, I'm just like, eh. New Star Revolutions, they do that, don't care. New Legendaries, don't care. It's my favorite Pokemon got a form, man. Well, I, I can't not love this game. Uh, next question, hey Fawlty, which is your favorite mythical and legendary Pokemon? Uh, favorite mythical would be Zeraora, and favorite legendary would be Mewtwo. Or Zygarde, perfect Zygarde though, is pretty awesome. Uh, next question, are you gonna get Digimon Survive if it stops being delayed and comes out? Yeah. If Digimon Survive ever comes out, there'll be a playthrough on the channel 100%. The game looks so good, but it just keeps getting delayed and delayed and delayed. I'm saying it. 2022. I reckon anywhere between August and August and November 2022, Digimon Survive. I'm calling it. That's why I think it's going to come out. If it doesn't come out then, it's never ever coming out. <laughs> uh, next question. Do you technically consider yourself a VTuber when you have your model up on screen? No. And it's just like a nice little thing to have up, which I, I like, but um, I I do want to get a proper VTuber model, but it is so expensive. And then to get it rigged is also very expensive. I, I think I'm saving up for one, but I think I found someone whose art style I quite like. I just need to talk to him a little bit because I don't know too much about it, but I want to get a proper one where I can move the arms, the mouth, the head, the body, and just um, do some really cool stuff. Because I've been watching... Like, just doing, I'm doing some research basically of some like bigger VTubers and how they do their streams. Cause I wanna get back into Twitch streaming, but I wanna like do it proper with like a nice like VTuber model and just do, do some really awesome stuff. I've been watching some people do things with theirs and I'm like, wow, that is actually so cool. And it makes me just not wanna stream right now because I can't live up to that. So once I do get a VTuber done, whenever that's gonna be because it's like I said it's expensive then I will you know consider myself a proper VTuber but I'm also kind of waiting to see if I like Hisui and Zoroark because like I said it Hisui and Zoroark might become my favorite Pokemon and if it does 
That means my character needs a costume change because my character's costume is based on Zoroark. And if my favorite Pokemon's Hisui and Zoroark, I've got to change it a little bit to match, you know? <laughs> Uh, next question, what Pokemon game would you like to see remade into a Switch game? I would love a Colosseum and XD Gala Darkness games to get um, remade into Switch games. I think that'd be really, really good. Or I would love a, another um, Mystery Dungeon game remade because I the Red and Blue Rescue Team for Switch, I really liked. I love the art style and I hope to do more. And then, I think it's obvious, I've got to say, like, um, people are going to hate me for this. I'm not going to say Gen 5 Remake because I think that's going to be years and years away. That might be next console, but I want a Let's Go Johto. I'm going to say it. Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. I felt were underrated. I felt people hated it for the wrong reasons. I think they're actually really good games. I think they are the best remakes we've ever had. And um, <laughs> I think if you're going to play Kanto, you might as well play those games because those are banging. The only criticism I have for Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee would be they didn't include the Sevi Isles. They should have done that, 100%. And the catching, if they change the catching up a little bit, I honestly, perfect games. 10 out of 10. <laughs> Personally, I, I love the art style of that game. And I thought the stuff they added was perfect. And the shiny hunting that was actually kind of fun. And just, there was a lot about them games I absolutely loved. And if we do get like a Let's Go Johto, I'm down for it. Put on top of them. Um, Mount Silver, you just put gold up there. That'd be so cool. Uh, next question, what is your future goal in life that you've set for now? Uh, small ca small fan coming through, love your commentary by the way. Hey, thanks. Uh, a, a goal I've set my, uh, right now I think my goal is to uh, finish paying off my mortgage and then just completely own this house. Um, that would be the best. Like I wanna get a bigger house, but I wanna own this house completely and then when I sell it off, like I'm, I'm currently doing the house up as well. I'm, we're doing the kitchen, uh, the living room, doing the bedrooms, and then almost on the, the bathroom, which has taken so long. Um, I'm doing the garden as well, but the garden is just, I'm debating doing the garden right now because my dog just, uh, she ruins the garden so much. Like I, before winter hit, I mowed the garden, made it look quite nice, and now it's just, it looks like there's no grass because she started for some reason kicking up the grass. It's just, uh, anyway, it's not a subject, but yeah, my goal right now is probably just do up the house, finish the mortgage, and then eventually sell this house and get a bigger house. Like the house we've got now is a really good size. Like I like it, it's a free bedroom, but I want to get a garage so I can convert that into a gym. That is my goal. <laughs> I want a house that's um, got a garage and Actually, we want a dining room as well. A dining room and a garage and a bigger garden. So I can have more dogs. <laughs> uh, not really a question, but just in case you didn't catch it, there's a new Dexter series. I know I'm waiting for it to be finished and I'm going to binge it. And Asta Vila got a completed sequel. I know I'm going to play it eventually. <laughs> but I'm, I'm excited for the new Dexter because I loved Dexter growing up. I literally watched it in high school uh, from season two. I, I, obviously, I binged season one after but I finished season one. I started season two. I was like, oh, this is actually pretty good. Then I watched season one, then finished season two, then watched it like week by week, every single week. And then, um, yeah, it ended so bad. If you haven't seen Dexter, basically, imagine uh, a bad guy that you're rooting for that does bad things, but they're kind of good. You know, serial killer killing serial killers, basically. <laughs> but it, it's a really good show, really, really good show. Oh, I'm hoping the new season's gonna be good anyway. Uh, next question, not sure if someone's asked this or if you already answered this, but of all the games you've played on the channel, which game is your overall favorite? Easy, Bravely Default or Bravely Second or Bravely Default 2. The Bravely series is just like, oh, love it. I remember I got Bravely Default a couple of days early. It just came in the post early and I thought to myself, I have a 3DS capture card. Not many people are gonna do this. It looks interesting, I wanna I want play it. Should do a series on the channel. I started recording and I was like, oh wow, damn this game good. And just kept playing and just so glad that my reactions of like the final bosses and stuff were up on YouTube because it was just, ah, oh, some of my favorite games of all time. Also, I would say as well, um, one of my favorite games on the channel I played is Majora's Mask 3D because I thought I absolutely smashed that playthrough. I thought, I, honestly, I think that playthrough is probably my best playthrough on the channel. Like commentary, gameplay wise, 100%. It is, I thought I smashed that game, honestly but uh, didn't get 
the love it would have done because it's not Pokemon, but I thought that series was really good. Uh, next question, what do you want to what do you want to see being added in Pokemon and are you ever going to consider playing competitive Nuzlocke? Uh, I want to see like more puzzles get added, like proper fun puzzles that have you explore, like more exploration, just something that gets me to explore an area more, because recently it's just been straight and narrow routes that have been so boring, and you can easily fix that with just some like nice exploration, more puzzles, or voice acting, voice acting would be so good. You got the voices for the anime, for the characters and stuff, so just bring them into the game. I feel like you could easily do that. And then competitive and Nuzlocke, no. Ugh, no. I don't like competitive um, Pokemon. Like, for me, competitive games, I much prefer like something like Valorant, League, um, CSGO, that sort of stuff. And then Nuzlocke's. Nuzlocke's I've got to be in the mood for. And right now, I am just not in the mood. Uh, next question, do you ever find yourself narrating games in your head when you're playing in your free time? Seems it would be easily become a habit. Um, kind of? Like, it depends on the game. Like, a lot of times I'm either watching a show or listening to music while playing a game, so I'm not really focused too much, or I'm hyper-focused and I'm just, like, you know, if I'm playing Valorant or League and I'm trying to, like, win, like, competitively, I'm just like, okay, need to do this, need to do that. And I'm not like talking how I would when I make a video, but sometimes I'm I do think like, oh yeah, if I'm if I was recording this, I could be talking about this right now, but I don't proper like narrate games, um, like how I do playing on the channel. But it it, it could happen, it could happen. Uh, next question: What's your favorite food, and have you ever tried Indian food? If so, do you like it? I would say my favorite food is I like steak. I absolutely love a bit of meat. <laughs> uh, steak, like fry, uh, steak with a fried egg on top, side of chips and some veg. Mwah! Too good, too good. And have I ever tried Indian food? I've tried chicken korma, um, and that's about it. But I did really like that. There was actually an Indian restaurant that's opened up near where I live, and it seems really nice. But can't go to it right now. But when um, things get a little bit better, then uh, yeah, I definitely want to try it out. But I, I do like Indian food of what I have tried, but I haven't tried too much. Uh, next question, hey Volti, I was just curious, do you have any major plans for the future of this channel? I love the playthroughs and such, but I was wondering if you were planning on looking into collabs with other PokerTubers or a second channel or regular Twitch streaming. Much love from the US. Um, so, I do have some plans. I mean, basically, I, I know what I'm gonna play for the majority of 2022. I've already written down loads of games I wanna play. Um, the major plans, I guess, would be like the VTuber I talked about, but that's kind of mainly for Twitch streaming. I'm not sure if I'd actually use the VTuber for many playthroughs. Like I thought I'd maybe use the VTuber for more kind of less walkthroughy stuff. Uh, I do have a second channel, Hero Voltsy TCG, if you want to check it out. Um, that's mainly just at the moment opening cards and stuff. But when the Pokemon TCG Online, the Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel come out, going to be doing a lot of videos of them on that channel. So if you want to subscribe for, you know, more TCG stuff, then that's the place for it. Um, and then collabs, uh, not really, like I don't know many people. I'm not the most social person in the world, so I don't really want to be reaching out. Like, it's not in my nature to reach out. And if someone asked me, I would probably likely be too nervous and say no. Um, for me, I'm not... I, if I was in a collab, I don't really want to just go, oh, this person's really big. If I collab with them, that would help the channel grow. I don't really care about that too much. It's more, if I want to collab, I want to do something really fun that I would really enjoy and feel comfortable with. Like, for example, if I just went, hey, Bud Juice, let's go and play League for a, a nice collab. I'd really enjoy that. But obviously he's on the US server on the EU, so that's not really going to work out. But something like that, you know, something that I'd... I don't think I'd want to play Pokemon for a collab. I just I wouldn't really have much interest in that. Um, it would just be something that, like I said, I feel comfortable with, something that I would find fun. And um, I feel like what I would want to do for a collab, people wouldn't want to do. Like um, the the new Borderlands game. Well, it's not really Borderlands, but it kind of is Borderlands. Like the Tiny Teen, the, is it Tiny Tina's? something something that game comes out in march i think it's four player co-op like just getting free 
people to play that with and do a playthrough. I think that, that to me, that would be pretty fun for a collab, but I don't think um, anyone would want to do that, to be fair. And plus, I'd, I wanna, I'd wanna know the people and have a fun time with. I don't wanna just like try and force something. Like, I feel like it was me, Butt Juice, and I don't know, two other people feel comfortable with. That could be pretty good. But again, you know, it's, it is what it is. I'm not the most social person. I just feel like I'm not probably gonna be collabing anytime soon. Uh, next question. First of all, thanks for the hours of entertainment. I kind of feel you got enough Pokemon related questions. So I'm gonna ask, what are your, what are some games you're looking forward to in 2020? Oh, you mean 2022? <laughs> I was gonna say like, it's not 2020, is it? And is there any games you regret doing an LP of you on your channel? If so, which one? Ooh, ooh, okay. Um, games I'm looking forward to in 2022. Um, Tunic, Tunic looks really good. I played the demo that I'm really, I've been excited for that game for so many years. Basically like a, an old fashioned kind of Legend of Zelda game, but you're a little fox and the graphics look really beautiful. Uh, Sonic Frontiers, I'm hopeful it's going to be a good Sonic game, we'll see. Um, Forspoken, that game looks phenomenal. Um, Digimon Survive if it comes out. And anything else, I'm, I can't think of anything right now on top of my head that um, that's coming out in 2022. Uh, the new Spider-Man game, I think that comes out in 2023 though, but if it does come out in 2022 then that. But I think it's 2023. But there's, there's a few games I've seen trailers for I'm quite excited for, but I just can't remember if they come out in 2022 or not. But those are a few games, and then is there any games I regret doing an LP on the channel? Um, not, not really, because I kind of pick games that I'm going to enjoy, and if I don't enjoy them, I just, you know, I don't, I, don't, um, I just kind of don't upload the, the series. But... Uh, I'm trying to think. There, there have been games I regretted not doing on the channel. I can't remember what, but there's, I know there's a few. I was like, oh man, I wish I did a playthrough of that. But uh, I'm trying. I can't. I can't think of anything I regretted doing. Uh, no, it's on my head. I, I can't. I can't think of anything I regretted doing. I, I, there's things I do regret how I went about doing doing the, the, the videos though like whether it be the graphics or the commentary or how about how I went about playing the game I've regretted some stuff there I've, I thought to myself like oh man I should have done this it would have been so much better should have done this or that and just yeah but good question good question uh, next question have you ever cheated <laughs> cheated a Nuzlocke and um, what are your hobbies aside from card collecting and video games um, technically, I have cheated a Nuzlocke, technically, but hear me out, hear me out. It was part two of a Nuzlocke. I started it, I think it was like the first or second trainer battle, I lost. I lost the Nuzlocke, but I just restarted the episode to play again, purely because part one was literally just starting the game, getting the starter, and then playing probably like, you know, one or two battles and that was it. So I just thought there's no point restarting a part one just to, you know, kind of do the same thing to get back to where I was. And I just left it at that and didn't say a thing. I mean, technically that is kind of cheating, but at the same time, it's just, it is what it is, you know? <laughs> technically, I, technically, yeah. But um, um, what are your hobbies? Um, I like to run. I've been training for the uh, a marathon. Whether or not I get into the London 2022 marathon, we'll see, but... My town does a marathon every year as well, so I might enter that. Yeah, I like running, and um, yeah, it's probably my main hobby right now. Uh, next question, my hero, Voltsy Fanatic. Oh, nice. <laughs> Just wondering, you mentioned a few years ago on BJ's channel, during the Pokemon Uranium collab a few years ago, that you were considering making a Pokemon fan game. Um, yeah, like, I've got I, I've got ideas. I've got a book written down full of, like, Fakemon design, story for fan games, but I'm never, I don't think I'm ever going to, act on it anytime soon because I just don't have, don't have the time to be actively involved. I've had people approach me and say like, yo, we can help make the game and stuff. But it's like, if I can't be at least like 75% involved into the game, I don't want, I, lit I literally don't want to basically take the credit for someone else's work. Like, I don't want to just have, be the idea, man. I want to be able to work on the game, help out and just be there. I don't want to just be like, Yo guys, you work the game, I'll take all the credit and then, you know, 
all that stuff. I want to be like, right team, let's do this. I'll work on this, you work on that, and then we'll come together and then we can work on this. You know, I want to be actively involved and right now I just don't have the time for it, but maybe one day it will change, but um, I don't want to, I just don't want to, you know, let people down. I don't want to start it, let people down. I don't want to just let people do all the work. I want to just be, I want to be there. Uh, next question, what kind of music do you listen to? Do you have a favorite album? Uh, I listen to like all kinds of music. Like my gym playlist is, um, is just got, you got some indie, you got some pop, you got some rock, you got some like anime um, fight music. Anything that kind of gets me pumped to like run and all of a sudden like, push the weights is just, that's what I listen to. Um, and my favorite album, ah, uh, favorite album. I would probably say Sinners Never Sleep by Yumi at Six. Such a good album, so many good songs in that uh, album I absolutely love. And um, yeah, I think I'll go with that. Uh, next question, favorite anime? Uh, Code Geass, you can't go wrong with Code Geass. It's such, it's such a good anime, if you haven't watched it, I really do recommend giving it a go. I don't want to spoil anything, it's so interesting. It's just like, there's so many back and forth moments. It's, it's just, it, it's really well, well worth a watch. Uh, next question, Pokemon or DBZ? Oh, um, for the games, I would say Pokemon, but for the anime, I would say Dragon Ball. Like, the, the, the Broly movie recently was just so good, and we got the new Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Super Super Heroes coming out next year, and hopefully, maybe Dragon Ball Super will get the anime returning at some point, but I've always, always been a fan of, um, Dragon Ball. Well, I, I started off with Dragon Ball Z when I was a kid, because uh, it was on Cartoon Network but I just absolutely love Dragon Ball and think that beats the Pokemon anime. But overall, I'd probably lean towards more Pokemon. Uh, next question, what's your favorite food for breakfast, lunch, dinner? Are you planning on any new merch? I'd love to see your Avatar of Legends Arceus theme. That could be pretty cool. Will Jasmine be including any of the new videos for 2022? Um, if the videos fit, then maybe, but I'm not just gonna like get her in just for, you know, for a video. Like I think if it's like a nice co-op game, you know, like a, maybe like a Mario Party or something, maybe? Yeah, that'd be fun. Uh, but at the moment, I think I'm playing is gonna be probably single player. Uh, new merch, I actually commissioned some people for some merch not too long ago, but I didn't like how it turned out, so I just did nothing with it. But there will be some new merch soonish, or well, next year. Um, hopefully it'll be good. I've got some ideas, it just depends on how they turn out. But just thinking about the merch we've got right now, I can't believe I launched that like, almost two years ago doesn't feel like two years ago but the merch out, that's out right now I really do like and I want to make some like absolute bangers but the ones I've got commissioned just weren't weren't up to weren't up to it but Legends Arceus theme could be pretty sweet and favorite food for breakfast lunch and dinner breakfast can't go wrong with a full English full, Engli full English is just mwah. Uh, lunch uh, I like hmm an egg and crisp sandwich. That'd be nice. And a packet of crisps, like maybe Monster Munch. And then dinner, like I said, steak, fried egg on top, side of chips, and um, some veg. Oh, best dinner you can get. Uh, next question, are you planning to do another Pokemon Masters EX play for anytime soon? Uh, not anytime soon, I just, uh, the game, with all the sync pairs they kept launching, their pity system being terrible, I just kind of stopped playing the game, kind of same with like Pokemon Go, and I think once the, the new story arc nears completion, that's probably when I'll come back to it and play it, but the events and stuff are just, uh, just I'm not up to it, not playing it, it's just got a bit boring. Like I love the story, the story was fantastic, but it takes so long to just um, get made, so I think once, when they go, oh the last chapter comes out next month, that's when I'll probably do a playthrough of the the current story and just play up to that point and then we can finish it when it comes out but masters anytime soon i don't think so no yeah that was the final question hopefully you guys enjoyed the q a maybe we'll do another one next year make it like a yearly thing but um yeah hopefully you guys enjoy your christmas and stuff and i'll see you guys in the new year peace